here in my bowl I have three cups of plain flour you can also use all-purpose flour to that I am going to add two tablespoons of baking powder I will not be adding any butter if you like you can add it also you can add a teaspoon of sugar half a teaspoon of salt or you can add the salt to your taste I'm also going to be using some room temperature water. So with clean hands, I am going to first start to combine the dry ingredients together. Afterwards, I am going to gradually add the water. So guys, this is how I do my fried dumplings. You can do it the way you do it or if you do it the same way I do it, you can comment down below and let me know if you do it the same way or if you do it differently. You could also use milk so while you're making the dough be gentle while you're mixing because if you mix hard then your dough will not be soft and when your dough is not soft then your fried dumplings will not be soft even though you're going to add the baking powder it's just the techniques to knead the dough that will make you have that soft and spongy fried dumplings that's how i like my dumplings some persons like it when it's flaky but that's not me. That's why I did not add any butter. Gradually add the water so that you do not spoil the dough. I am finished making the dough. This is how soft it should be when you finish making it. So I am going to cover it with plastic wrap and let it sit for half an hour. I am also going to be frying one ripe planting so this is how I slice them so I'm going to start frying I like to fry the plantains first to flavor the oil so I am not going to be using a lot of oil to fry the dumplings if you like you can deep fry yours so I am just adding the plantains into the pot then I'm going to fry on a medium to high flame until they are golden brown After they are finished frying, I am going to remove them from the pot and fry the other side. So guys, this is how I love my plantains to be, but you can do it whichever way you like it. At this point, I am going to start frying my dumplings. So what I do is to take a small portion of the dough, then I roll them into balls, then I place them into the pot. This is how I actually do mine. I don't know how you make your fried dumplings. Fry them on a medium flame until they are golden brown. So I am going to fry them for about 8 minutes. Ensure that each of them has enough space to fry. So what I am doing is using the fork to spread them around in the pot so that they can have enough space. After 
after I finish turning them I am going to reduce the flame to a low heat so that they can fry properly and soak through so what I am doing here is to turn the dumplings on the side that did not get to fry In total, I am going to get about 12 dumplings from this dough. You can get more if you do your smaller. My fried dumplings are all done. They look so beautiful guys. They have a nice golden brown color. They smell great. They are so soft and spongy. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Serve my fried dumplings with some red plantains and some color low. Look how soft they are. So guys, this is how I love my fried dumplings. I love them when they are so soft and spongy. So I am going to open one and let you see how it looks inside. So guys, please remember to share this video with your friends and family members. Tell them about Tamara's recipe. If you are new here, a special welcome to you. Please tap the subscribe button before leaving and turn on your post notification bell. See you in my next video.